Hi guys, Charlotte here from Britsent. If you've read the title of this video, then you'll know we are looking at phrases commonly used in spoken English that are based on superstitions. They are all still in use, so are incredibly useful. I'll read the phrase and an example of the phrase before explaining when to use it. So, grab a pen and let's begin. Touchwood. My father is in his 60s and he's never had any health issues. Touchwood. Okay, so touchwood is said after describing good luck that we are currently experiencing, have experienced, or hope for in the future to keep bad luck away. In the UK, there is a common belief that if you speak too positively about something, you will bring on bad luck or jinx yourself. We also try to find a piece of wood and touch or knock on it at the same time. For example, my sister hasn't been in any accident since she got her license, touch wood. Or, all of the students made it home safely, touch wood. That leads us nicely to our second phrase, break a leg. I'm sure your performance will be great, break a leg. So, as mentioned, some people believe speaking about good luck can actually cause misfortune. Break a leg is a common alternative to avoid this bad luck and show support. We most commonly say break a leg to a person before they perform in public. For example, before a presentation, before playing in a sports match or in the theatre business. One of the most commonly used phrases is fingers crossed. We get our test results back tomorrow, so fingers crossed. We add this phrase after mentioning a situation we hope to happen to show we don't want any bad luck to ruin our plans. For example, we made an offer on the house and fingers crossed it'll be accepted. Or fingers crossed it doesn't rain tomorrow or we'll have to cancel the barbecue. There are alternative ways to use this phrase. You can ask someone to keep their fingers crossed if you want their hope and support, or to show extreme support, you can tell someone, I'm crossing all my fingers and my toes. To finish, let's look at two phrases that are closely related. The first is speak of the devil, which comes from a longer phrase that we don't bother saying. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. I think Reese is running late, so, oh, speak of the devil, where have you been? This is used when we are talking about someone and they appear or arrive. Maybe we are showing happiness, surprise or feeling guilty about talking about someone when they are not around. For example, Jess told me she, oh, speak of the devil, Jess come over here and tell them what happened. Or, we have one student who forgot their book, speak of the devil, that student forgot their book. This links to another phrase, my ears are burning. This is based on the idea that our ears burn when someone talks about us behind our backs, especially when we are being criticised. So we use this phrase when we interrupt people talking about us to try and make a joke or to show we suspect people are talking about us. We also use this phrase when we find out people have been talking about us. For example, you were all talking about me? No wonder my ears were burning. Or, my ears are burning. Are you talking about me? So, do you believe these superstitions? I wanna hear your comments and examples in the comments below and we'll respond to our early responses. Check out our other videos for more great content and I'll see you next time.